The baby boomers make up a generation that just don't like to be laid up or tied down. Just ask anyone who's retired to Central Florida, and they'll tell you they moved here for the active lifestyle. That quest to stay active has led to a tripling of knee replacement surgeries in the last 10 years. The Agency for Healthcare Research and Quality recently released these latest numbers. More than 620,000 people a year have knee replacement surgery, twice as many as hip implants. Nearly 1 in 20 Americans over the age of 50 have artificial knees. That's more than 4.5 million people. Dr. Donald Perry, Joint Replacement Specialist at Florida Hospital Waterman's Joint Replacement Center, explains how the technology has changed to give his patients the ability to get back to their active lifestyles sooner. The biggest advancement in hardware is in the plastics. When I first started in 1990, and um, I would say up until 96, the joint replacements that I did, I would say one third of them were what we call revisions or where you're redoing a previous joint replacement. And patients come in all the time and say, how long does the hip last or knee last? Back in those days, they would tell them 10 to 15 years because typically the plastic would wear out in 10 to 15 years. Almost every major implant company now, the plastic is designed to last 30 years or longer. The best thing you can do is maintain a active lifestyle. Most of the injuries that I see in patients over 35 are from people who have um, reduced level of activity and start trying to be very, very active without slowly working the wear into. That is by far the most common problem that we see. We see a lot of sports injuries. Like I said, we have an older population and they're very active. So we have people that play softball, pickleball, basketball, tennis. And um, usually when we're doing surgeries or when I do surgeries, I'm trying to get them back to whatever they were doing, whatever that may be. Well, our goal is to try to get them back to golf or any of the other activities that I mentioned as soon as possible. And a, a lot of people tend to think that, oh, I'm having a knee or hip replacement, it's the beginning of the end. And I think we've done a lot to try to reverse that because most of the patients, even after a knee or hip replacement, even the golfers get back to playing golf within six weeks after the procedure, sometimes less than that. I think the results have spoken for themselves. You'll find contact information for Florida Hospital Waterman's Joint Replacement Center when you click the Knee Replacement Boom story icon at yourhometownhealth.com.